Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jojo. What's up? Okay, today's a different day. What am I covering? First time. Like I'm going where I have not gone before to quote Star Trek. And um, this is still on uh, this released on Jan 26th. And it's still on number 18 for Trending for Music here in London. I have heard enough and more about it. And uh, I'm very curious. I'm very curious because uh, the theme is very exciting for me. I love that. Um, so it's Tom McDonald featuring Ben Shapiro, which again, surprise for everyone. We have, um, you know, someone who has, uh, uh, from what I've heard in the past, said that he doesn't consider uh, rap music and now he's here. But, you know, more power to him for changing his mind and being open about it. And and now we have him with a track that is supposedly anti-woke, which I love. And it's also calling out a lot of bullshit in the world, which I think is super important right now, especially in, in the US. I think people have lost the plot over there over many, many, many things. And they're kind of, I feel like their societal structure is just crumbling. It's just, it's just terrible. So I'm happy when people uh, step up and say things that need to be said. And I'm curious to check out this song. In fact, my sister recommended it to me. And it apparently it, it reached the Billboard Billboard top spot, you know? And also like iTunes got top spot. Um, iTunes sales, sales chart. And then it debuted at number 16 on the Billboard. Hot 100. I don't know what was its highest... Uh, highest thing but uh, if that's the case then clearly there are takers for these kind of things right um these kind of themes so Tiga, let's do it let's do it it's facts one two three play they call me offensive, controversial. It's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect you. Where the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down, they all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes I don't care if I offend you I was put here to upset you You can cry and you can scream You can riot in the streets You defunded the police Now there's no one to protect you Let's look at the stats, I've got the facts My money like Liz my pockets are fat Homie, I'm epic, don't be a whap Dog, it's a yarmulke, homie, no cap Look at the graphs, look at my charts You're blowing money on strippers and cars You go into prison, I'm on television Dog, no one knows who you are Keep hating on me on the internet My comment section, all woke Karens And I make racks off compound interest Y'all live with your parents Nikki, take some notes, I just did this for fun All my people, download this Let's get a billboard number one This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars and clothes we ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes I don't care if I offend you I was put here to upset you You can cry and you can scream, you can riot in the streets You defunded the police, now there's no one to protect you It's cool to be the victim, well, I'ma be the man You sad, you sad, you sad You just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have yes. You mad, you mad, you mad You blame everybody else for every problem that you can You sad, you sad, you sad I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back I don't care if I offend you I was put here to upset you Just keep it real facts. 
don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect you. Ha! I love it. I like it. I, you know, this is, this is the need of the hour to call out dumb woke bullshit. It is the need of the hour. And I am so glad. I am so glad. I'm so glad it's trending. I'm so glad there are takers for this. I'm so glad there are enough and more people out there who get that the world has gone mad. So many things to be said about this song. I'm just going to try and pull up the lyrics because, uh, you know, but we got to go over what he's saying. Um, and this is this is my problem with the with the with all this woke nonsense. And if anyone asks me my pronouns, I'm gonna punch them in the face. I, honestly, it pisses me off. And <laughs> I'm just like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? And um, you know, you there's no there's nobody trying to deny anyone. There. This is why I feel like I I understand the pain. There are so many parents who I've seen, like you know, on TikTok and stuff, who are just they're just pissed off that the schools are teaching their kids dumb shit that they don't need to learn, you know? And uh, it's like, live your life, but don't shove your life into everyone else's faces and then pretend to be offended by every single small thing in the world. Like, what? Okay, anyway, let me not go on. Let me just read the lyrics because love it. They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. Facts. Facts. They can't conceal my message. That's something that Vivek Ramaswamy said a lot in his speeches. He was like, these are the truths. And he was there. If there is a, there is a, there is, you know, by scientific fact, this is what it is. If there is a distortion somewhere, it means something went wrong. It is not the norm. You know, if somebody was born with one arm, it means something went wrong. It doesn't... It doesn't imply that all human race does not have is not born with two arms. All human beings are born with two arms and two legs. Those are facts. And if something is wrong there, then something went wrong. Those are anomalies and those are not, you know, anyway. So they can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist. Yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. Exactly. Why should you? There's so much reverse racism and counter racism that's happening nowadays under the umbrella of being woke or being, you know, uh, that's that's that very fake movement i hope you all know the blm that whatever it was um and it's been exposed by enough and more agencies with facts um i feel like this whole thing about being apologetic or being like whatever about is dumb if every caucasian is a bigot i guess every the terrorist i agree it's your logic right it's your logic so then that applies across the board doesn't it this is this is another thing that uh, annoys me about the about the left in the west that is the left in every part of the world is kind of, but the, the, these guys are just another level of stupidity. They say things, and if something with a similar logic is presented back to them, they'll deny it and call you names and things that you're not. And only if it fits within their structure of logic and their like discourse, then it's acceptable to them. Everyone outside of that needs to get cancelled or needs to be, yeah, this is dumb. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke. No hope is pathetic. Pro-choice. Pronouns, pro-love. You're progressives, but you ain't pro-gun. No one to protect it. Where the American flags are. Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down. They've all been replaced with BLM or a rainbow. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no anchoring in like, there's a whole like, um, I don't know. People have just taken up weird causes in their life, I feel. This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars and clothes. Yep, we ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose, we ain't pushing guns, we ain't promoting stripper poles, we won't turn your sons into thugs or adults. Thank you. I don't care if I offend you, I was put here to upset you. You can cry, you can scream, you can ride in the streets, you defunded the police, now there's no one to protect you. It's gonna bite you in the ass. I hope I offend you, I ask myself, what would Ben do? <laughs> that his face popped up on the screen. Let's just keep it real, facts don't care how you feel, man. Exactly, exactly. Stop being whiny. Anyway, if you want my pronouns, I'm the man, I'm the man who don't respect you. I love it. <laughs> it's so easy to offend the left, no? It's hilarious. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are fine. This is Ben's words, right? Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a dog. I'm a yum. What's this? Ah, oh, sky. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, okay, I've got it. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. 
You're going to prison I'm on television. Don't, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section on woke Karen's house. <laughs> and I make rats of compound interest. You all live with your parents. Nikki takes some notes. I just did this for fun. So I think apparently Nikki Minaj also endorsed this song, right? Good. Good on her. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't gonna overdose. Okay. I don't care if I live. Oh, come. You mad, you mad, you mad. I guess it's cool to be the victim. Well, I'm gonna be the man. You sad, you sad, you sad. You just trying to get attention. Being triggered is all you have. <laughs> I agree. You blame everybody else for your, for every problem that you can. I will never say I'm sorry. I ain't taking nothing back. I agree. It's such a victim mentality and it's so much of a blame game. It's ridiculous. And then you hide behind that and say you deserve special this thing. No, work hard, earn your shit on merit and stop whining all the time. Yeah. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect you. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. So I'm uh, I'm surprised that I was requested to cover this rant, but I can see why. And I'm glad. I'm glad that I give off that vibe that as someone who would like the song. So yes, I did like it. And um, I like it. His, uh, his thing, his uh, hoodie said something, no? One sec, though. I could just see the word facts on it. What was it? It said, facts don't care how you feel. Huh? Facts don't care about offending your feelings. That's what it was. Come on, where is it? Mm, facts don't care about your feelings. Yeah. I don't care if I offend you. What is that? Hangover gang. Okay. Interesting. Fine. So, I feel like, um, I feel like there's enough and more people out there who are like, hell yeah, for this message, you know? Like, can we get an amen? Because, uh, yeah, I just saw on Twitter the other day, I think Elon Musk only shared it. I think it was Disney's like, um, Disney's mandatory policies for hiring people and for casting for their shows and films and I was honestly shocked like A, B, C, D, E and three out of five of these should be ticked in order for section A to be fulfilled like that they have these mandates like you have to do at least these things which is have these many roles for these people these many roles for this and make sure this is and it's literally like on paper if you read it and you see it for what it is it is literally reverse racism it is literally and that's why i keep wondering every time you like go online and you're like applying uh um for something or you're you know filling in a form why have the forms changed why is there a pronoun why do i need to tell you my pronoun if i've already you know like since when this is this a thing to ask people's religion on a form or their pronouns or a form or their gender i mean take agenda window to id ke liye hota hai lekin pronouns kab se aa gaya what the hell my pronouns are off seriously like anyone who asks me that, I just get so irritated. So I always choose, like, prefer not to say because I think it's just stupidity. And what is the other one? Um, uh, there's another thing that they ask. Uh, ethnicity, but I've never seen that. Only in this part of the world, by the way, I'm saying. Like, since I've come to the UK, I've seen this. And I'm like, why? I have grown up in the most multicultural environment in the Middle East. The most multicultural environment in the world that you can find. People from all over the world live there and in harmony and, you know, um, live and earn their living and, and live a good life and everybody just coexists. I had as many Africans around me as I had Middle Eastern people, as I had Europeans, as I had Australians or Asians or um, people from the subcontinent and um, Americans. Like, nobody ever discussed color. Nobody ever discussed color. The first time um i heard that word and even when i lived in the u.s by the way i've studied in the u.s i went i did my undergrad in the u.s i did my you know some of the years of my undergrad in europe and there was no such concept of like highlighting someone's color or something even even like in my like uni university days so um it is a very recent phenomenon it's like in the last 10 years or so you know this whole wokeness stupidity has come into into being and i remember i was trying to hire someone to handle the marketing of my my shoe brand in the US and you know I was reaching out to a few marketing people I saw online and there was this one uh, woman 
who I think she was African American, and she, you know, just one thing she said, uh, that really pissed me off. And I, th- I don't think she realized it was offensive because I don't know what the discourse around her has been. But she said, "Oh, I'm super happy to, you know, be considered by, by a by a woman of color who's running her own business." And I was like, "What? Woman of color? What?" Nobody has ever referred to me in that way and I've never been addressed in that way and I've never thought of myself in that. I don't even think about color. I don't. It's not an issue. It's like, it doesn't, it's not even, so so what, of course I didn't hire her and I didn't work with her, but what that told me was that it was so, um, they don't even realize that by highlighting differences, they're actually dividing people more. Because I have lived around all kinds of people my whole life and we've never felt different from each other. We've all just vibed and connected as humans and nothing else. And we've never been like, oh, you're a person of color or you're this or you're white or you're... No. When you meet someone and you connect with them, you just connect with them as a human being, right? I don't know if this sounds preachy, but it is a, it is what it is. You've never like had to think of working with someone or not working with someone because of anything else other than what they bring to the table for that job or like merit basically so anyway i found that so odd and i was like i don't think these people even realize what they're doing that by starkly differentiating between people using these dumb terms and terminology they're actually creating more divides and i feel like they all live in this weird bubble that they've been in they have no idea what the rest of the world is like and what the rest of the world fun the way the rest of the world functions and it's just really sad it's just really sad. You know, like when we were growing up and even now, one of the most important things I was taught to us is always keep an open mind and be um, like, be aware of, of what's happening in the world. Like travel as much as you can was something I took upon myself so that, you know, I could understand how different people live and function and think and all of that. Um, I had like been exposed to a lot of the world before I turned 25, even 23, I would say 24. Um, and I know a lot of people don't have that privilege, but you do have the internet, right? You do have the internet. You do have the power to consume uh, things from around the world and just broaden your perspective and mind. So if you don't do, if you're not living in a re- really weird bubble, then, um, then yeah, it's on you. Your ignorance is on you. Okay, that's all I have to say. This track is awesome and I'm glad it's doing well and I think it should be shared and the message needs to uh, become louder because I'm not even... Uh, sorry about that. I am not even... Nervous, but I have enough and more friends there and I follow the news and all the conversations and I think a song like this is the need of the hour. So yay, more power to um, Ben <laughs> in his awkward hoodie avatar and Tom. And uh, yeah, facts are facts. They don't care about your feelings. It is what it is. Chalo, on that note, recommend more songs to me there. Do, 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 do support the channel. Take care of you. Live long and prosper. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. You can cry and you can scream. You can ride in the streets. You defunded the police.